uh, welcome back to class so now the next thing we would like to do today are uh, using our crinoline to make codes using our crinoline to make codes and it's fairly easy to do all right so i'm going to teach you how to now the first thing to do is to iron It's too hot it will sing so it's to iron down the corners of the folded sides of the okay so that now we have a flat piece of material to work with and then the next thing is to cut um i'm going to cut nine inches nine inches there I have nine inches there now I don't need this so I'm going to remove it all right so I have nine inches and then I'll fold the nine inches into two now if you already know how to make your cones using crinoline um, using um, tsunami then this will be easy for you but if you don't then it might be quite a work but it's easy all right just pay attention so i have my eight inches my nine inches across you could cut eight you could cut seven the the, the length you cut will determine how big your uh your um, cone is going to be now another thing you also need some pins so i have pins on my magnet there all right so we have i folded it into two and then i'll bring it over one another just like we make um tsunami so i'll bring it over now depending on how small or how big i want it to be if I want this to be big, look at what I have done. I brought it together to form a V there. And then I'll put a pin to hold it in place. Alright. And then I'll finish up at the bottom. I'll bring it together nicely. How I want it to stand, how I want it to look. And then there you have it. So the next thing to do is to hold the the one inside the, the the piece inside in place with a pin so that it can stay in place while i'm working so i'll open up this end i'll open up this end and i'll apply my uh my my glue at the center here now if i don't want to use glue then i could use um i could sew it using my invisible thread using my invisible thread and needle all right i can sew it down using my invisible thread and needle right that's my nylon thread there or fishing line as some would call it it's um 0.25 mm all right so i can thread it through my needle okay I'll, I'm, I'm trying to not the two ends together I'll knot it twice or thrice so that I'll have a firm knot that's one two and three all right so then I can use my needle and thread to sew it up the center up to the edge here 
and then when it gets to the top i'll reverse and come down to this to the end so that this is where i finish it i cannot cut the excess off but the problem with sewing it is it does it won't be able to hold it very well in place when i cut off the excess so instead of sewing what i usually do is i'll open this side Going to do this very carefully if i don't i'll have a messy finish all right okay so i've applied my glue and then i'll apply some pressure then I can remove my pin once it's glued down in place. I hope you can see that. If there's any problem somewhere, you just go back in and apply again. And then you can use the tip of your scissors to hold it in place at the center until it's glued in place. All right? Can you see it? So there so the next thing is to cut off the excess and then i have my core there's any issue with it for example there's it, it didn't stick down properly there i'll run my gum through carefully and i'll hold it in place the thing is for you to have a neat finish you have to work it carefully otherwise it's not going to give you a neat finish all right so that is our cone and then you can now bring your cones together and then work it however you please maybe you want to put it you could want to use it just on the alice band by itself and then you use some other items to do the design and finish it off you could do that you could have a base and then you are just you 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 put it up on a base and then you add other things to do your finishing you could add feathers you could add flowers so that is how to make your cone thank you very much i hope you have learned something um i would like to see your practical pieces when you have done yours post your pictures tag me and let me see it thank you for attending class today